In autumn, temperature falls and libido rises. This is the only time that ewes and rams come together. Oblivious to radio collars, research, and politics, bighorn are obsessed with mating. It's a tough life being a ram, believe me. <laughs> when most people think of bighorn, they think of horn clashes. It's all about dominance. The winner gets to mate and pass on his genes. This is a low stretch. Rams lower their heads and angle their horns to make them look bigger. It's like dogs roughing up their fur to look bigger. Neck wrestling is another dominance behavior. They kick each other, just another bit of escalation. Come on buddy, let's have it out. They won't actually get into a fight unless they're pretty equally sized. A yearling male would never challenge a big ram, but he might try to practice on a nearby ewe. Another year, she won't be able to push him around like that. It all leads up to butting heads. It can be fairly brutal. If you watch these animals after they rut, they come out with almost no skin left on their faces. After they clash, they each step back and show each other their horns. It's a very important behavior. If you look at the other guy's horns, you know either I walloped him or he walloped me. And that's how you learn how big you are. They only know